We're about to go into the first weekend since the lockdown measures were announced. And I know that many of you watching will already be struggling uh, with being cooped up in the house as much as you are right now and being unable to do all the normal things that you would normally be looking forward to doing at a weekend. But it is vital uh, that all of us stick with this. The most important thing all of us can do for the NHS is to follow the advice and to stay at home wherever possible. And to make sure that we can have the biggest impact on slowing down this virus, you should only go outside for a good reason, such as buying food or essential supplies, travelling to essential work, exercising once a day or providing care or assistance to others. And when you do go outside, there shouldn't be more, of, more than two of you in a group unless all of you are from the same household. The regulations which give power to enforce these rules uh, came into force uh, last night and I want to say a special word here for our police who are also being placed under real pressure by this pandemic and who are doing an exceptional job on behalf of all of us. But my fervent hope and belief is that the police and others will not need to enforce these regulations very often because they simply enforce the public health guidance that the vast majority of people across the country and indeed the vast majority of businesses have been complying with all week and I'm grateful to everybody for doing that. I know that these restrictions are tough and that for many people, as I said a moment ago, they're going to feel much tougher as we go into the weekend. Uh, I'm thinking particularly of children and young people over the next couple of days. A weekend at home may feel especially difficult for you. So I hope you stick to the rules, uh, do what you're told by uh, your parents and carers, but also remember to have fun. And I've seen lots of examples uh, on social media of young people coming up with uh, new and inventive ways to have fun uh, while in the house. Uh, but I'm also thinking about grandparents, like my own mum and dad, who usually look forward to a visit at the weekend. And I'd say to young people, make sure you pick up the phone to your grandparents this weekend or FaceTime them to tell them how you're getting on, but also to check in on them and see how they're doing. I'm sure they would really appreciate it. But I want to just remind people and underline why these rules are in place. It is because they are vital. Staying at home... Uh, more than any other single measure is the way in which we can support and protect our NHS and it is ultimately the way in which we can all contribute to saving lives. 